Welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's been a while since I've posted a video. I found this one recently in my box. It's called a Pearly Peter or Pearly Peter Ross basically. Um, this fly I believe was given to me many many years ago by uh, Brian Thompson. Uh, so if you ever fish the River Till up in Northumberland. Uh, the River Till is a tributary of the of the Tweed. Uh, it flows uh, wholly on the um, English side, but does flow into the uh, basically the Scottish Tweed. Uh, it's given to me by uh, Brian Thompson, who uh, controls three beats: uh, the uh, the Tyndall upper and lower Tyndall, and then Red Scar uh, up up on the Till. Hell of a nice guy. I believe he gave me this fly. Uh, and it would have been tied by uh, a gent named Malcolm Johnson uh, who he used to time uh, Brian had a, a load of flies available for sale uh, but invariably they were sold uh, so tied by uh, by Malcolm um, but some deadly dead little patterns uh, he had some like little silver stoke type patterns uh, a, a few different patterns but this one a little bit different so Peter Ross uh, but uh, pearly body and also it has a, a badger hackle in the head instead of the usual black uh, hackle that a, that a Peter Ross would have. A very very simple pattern uh, but a very very good uh, sea trout uh, pattern especially so in the daytime if you're pulling small wets in the daytime this is a great pattern and one I particularly like to fish on the dropper I prefer a slightly darker fly on the point and a lighter fly on the, on the dropper just a personal preference that has served me well um, but anyway, tie a few of these up, give them a, give them a, a fish, especially you know, uh, in, in the evening or a dropping flood, for example, could really produce the goods. In the vise, I've actually got a supply of old, um, these were the old Sprite competition doubles. Just a, a, a great hook, uh, just a down eye competition. Uh, I really like the, 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 the rounded gape and a nice wide gape on that uh, on that hook as well this is a size 12 uh, predominantly tied 10s to 14s so a fairly small fly I've got a uh, so Viva's thread 10o in black I'm gonna just start by tying that in again a really simple really simple fly tail is uh, golden pheasant tippets don't use too much. Don't go too bulky. You don't need much. Probably around five to eight fibers or so. Just measure that up so it's protruding around uh, five mil or so. Yeah, around five mil beyond the end of the hook. Tie that in, secure it down, and bring the thread back up. Give yourself a nice smooth body because essentially you're going to use tinsel. Whenever you're using tinsel, you don't want any lumps and bumps because that's just going to kick the tinsel around. Tie in some uh, opal, what's it called? It's uh, the UTC Mirage tinsel uh, in medium opal. So tie that in, take it down to where you finished off those tippets just to there bring the thread back up there's no um, there's no rib on this fly so as such just to protect the body what I usually do at this point is put a drop of super glue don't put too much just enough to secure that tinsel just put a little final beading on the body and then bring that tinsel up and over. You'll find that by taking the tinsel around, it's going to distribute that super glue around. So don't feel that you have to actually get that super glue all, all the way around that body. Take it up about two thirds to three quarters of the way along the hook and then tie it off. Just take a couple of threads back over. Don't be too precise because you have that super glue that's really going to hold it in place. Come in, snip the excess like so so you can see everything's coming together there already thorax is going to be some red seals fur nothing fancy just some red seals fur red scarlet something uh, something similar um, I'm just gonna dub a small amount of that in the 
thorax section. Just dubbing that on and bring it up. Don't dub it down too tightly because you want some movement from that seal sphere. Just create a ball of it. Sweep it back and tie in around the head like so. The wing is going to be teal, just a single teal feather. Now you can marry these up if you want. Uh, my flies are very much fishing flies, so I just tend to use a single feather. And what I then do is I try to, to, to fold it or roll it over just to create a nice looking wing rather than going to the hassle of marrying up. So just look to, to, to fold that over. You've got a bump from that seal sphere. What that will do is kick that wing up slightly. Don't worry. Uh, usually when we then work with the hackle, that usually dampens that back down. But it will kick that up. So don't worry about that. And we try to finish that wing the same length as the tail. As a, as a measuring up point. Cut these butts off as close as possible. For the marrying, uh, the, the point, if you can see there, roughly finishing off at the same point. Hackle, again we're using badger instead of uh, black uh, in this one, just because it is a different fly to the original Peter Ross. Again this is called the pearly Peter. Uh, and what we do is, to tie that in by the, the tip, don't worry if you trap a few hackle fibres down, just like so. And then just sweep those feathers or the fibres of the feather back so you're not going to trap in too many as you work that hackle around just like so just like so keep bringing it around that's perfect you see that wing starting to to ease down already just because of that hackle being worked in behind it again so don't it's always going to stick up a bit because of that uh, seal's fur bump. The fish don't mind and actually if anything it brings a bit of life to the fly. When you've done about three turns come in with a thread close that off like so. Double the feather back just for a nice secure finish. Brush it all back and tie over that base. Then just come over you're going to snip off the excess hackle just that stalk come in nice and close tidy up the head and that's the fly done so that's the the, the pearly peter uh, just a fantastic sea trout fly uh, and one you should really have in your box uh, especially for fishing early evening and also on a on, on a dropping flood so finish that well for the whip finish and that's the fly done really simple but a very very effective fly and definitely one worth worth tying up so make a few up take them out and uh, next time you're on the river I hope they bring you luck tight lines <laughs>